Si no, eso. EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the start of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the Northeast Invitational. Always a pleasure to be along the coast of Maine, Lighthouse Point to be exact. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Nabilo for EA Sports. Frank, this is sure to be another exciting day of golf out there. What are the challenges facing our players today? The length of the golf course for a start, Rich, this golf course just under 7,700 yards. It's one of the longest ones you'll play. And of course the cliffs, that's why it's called this, they certainly are in play. There is one double green out there, that's the 10th and the 13th hole, they share the same green. Lots of great design features and you've got it on a prime day in great condition. So, enjoy the round and make sure you feast on the vistas as well. Fine. Oh, that's it. New member of the 300-yard club. Good poke right there. Strong winds continue to be a factor. Frank, I know you've played all over the world. How much did you enjoy the challenge of playing into a stiff breeze? Well, it was a chance to separate yourself from the rest of the field, Rich. Um, just like these conditions we're seeing right now, um, you've really got to be smart. Pick the right shot. If you get too aggressive on a day like today, um, you'll pay a far more severe price than normal. Club selection obviously is crucial. Oh, it's imperative today. Take an extra club or two, choke down. Very much so. That is a really good shot landing close to the flag stick. Settles in over the putt. A few more birdies like that. Rich. You never know, I just might sneak place on the podium. In the top 10 right now. Now on the tee at the par three second, it's a long one. This will require a pure strike. <laughs> Frank, I think that's going to the bunker. Looks like it. <laughs> he just missed the bunker. Frank, this would be a nice way to jumpstart the round. Yeah, his momentum uh, can quickly go in the right direction if he makes this. And with that birdie, moving into the top five on the leaderboard. And we're starting to uh, notice the name. Frank, I like the mix of holes as we start out here at Lighthouse Point. Tough par four, then a par three, and now a scoring opportunity with a par five at the third. A scoring opportunity with a good drive. Very thin fairway here, Rich. This hole is built for accuracy, and players off the tee, they're going to have to try and hit this fairway. Long fairway bunker runs almost the entire length of this hole, and it could act actually as a little helper, stop you going down by the cliff, because anything left, obviously, on that cliff line will go all the way down to the ocean. Oh, if this is up, it's good. Oh, 
Frank, that's as good as I have seen all day long. Um, I think we've got to blame that on the weather. That weather, the, the wind had to help that ball, give it another 20, 30 yards. Playing his second shot here at the par five. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Couldn't have done much better than that. An eagle is very possible. So a tester from four feet. Frank, sometimes it takes a bold stroke to win a tournament. Get back into it, and that's what we just saw. Birdies make a move. Eagle, especially right now, could not have picked a better time. Back over now to the fourth. Frank, I've been impressed with the play to this point early in the round. Yeah, it's solid uh, without being spectacular, and that's actually a huge compliment. Well, that is a really good tee shot right there, Frank. I think that tipped the 300 yard mark. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. He's making the game look very simple right now. See it, hit it. And he's got it right on track. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Well, there's an opportunity wasted. Just knocking him for a par, and let's forget about this one. Um, golf is not about perfect. But it's going to hurt the course. Looks like par may not be good enough to get the job done here. Yeah, big change in the top of the leaderboard. Get another birdie, so it pushes him back to second. Now at the fifth here at Lighthouse Point to par four. Frank, what are we in store for? When you stand on this tee, Rich, you don't see any fairway bunkers. But be careful, it can certainly fool you. The goal really with the cliffs course is to find fairways. Long and straight. That's how you do it. Frank, this is the way you draw it up. This is how the game's supposed to be played. Yeah, so far, everything going according to plan. The green is up above, and this will play at least a club longer. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. Oh, I can't hide the flag stick from that man. For birdie. Moves into the lead with that birdie. Oh, you sniff another one coming along, too. Now at the sixth hole, it's a par three, just under 200 yards. Where's the challenge here, Frank? Well, you've got to love that bunker on the left side, Rich, especially because it's shaped like a letter L. Got to fly that. Uh, green's not too deep. So really, the challenge is trying to flight that ball in amongst the breeze should it kick up. Birdie try up next. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Racking them and stacking them right now. Six under par for the tournament. Now to the seventh hole here at Lighthouse Point. Frank, we all love the shorter par fours. There's so many decisions to be made here at seven. Uh, if you look at the scorecard, it's not very long, but when you start to flash your driver down that right side, you'll notice that fairway gets very narrow. So the decision is really that's the prudent play or not. From there, it's just a short iron in, and you should be looking at birdie. 
He'll be happy with that. In the fairway, no a good chance to attack this hole. Now our featured golfer setting up for another approach. Really neat to get something going here, Frank. And that green right now must look like the size of a thimble. Headed for the bunker, I think. So the second of the par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. All right, so greenside bunker. What's he looking to do with this shot, Frank? Well, really, you have to look at the amount of green you got to play with. You don't have to try and fly the ball right by the flag. Allow it to run. Plus, if you can get it to run like a putt, you never know. It might just go in. Getting set at the eighth. Nice hole. making that from the it's bunker. That was amazing. Sixty-five yards. Break it down for us, partner. This gets really narrow in the middle of this green, Rich. That's sort of the biggest problem. Matter of fact, only had twelve yards from that left side to the right in the middle. Um, and the green itself actually is three times that in length, thirty-six yards. So straightness is the key here. This is a good-looking shot. Beautiful display of ball striking today. Really in control. And that's another GIR, green in regulation. It's a snack, though. Once considered the best player at the college level, our featured golfer makes birdie, sitting comfortably inside the cut line. We move to the ninth hole and we begin to go inland, Frank. I'll miss some of the views along the ocean. I won't miss the nerves with the potential of a golf ball sailing off into the... Oh, he's winding this one up. Does he have the power? To... Gave that the full treat. Get up. Frank, I know you like boxing. That was some heavyweight power right there. Smoked it. I mean, he just... Blasted it down the fairway, well over 325 yards. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, oh, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. Just a couple of feet. up some impressive numbers out here now nine under for the tournament so nine holes down here at the cliffs at lighthouse point rich Lerner alongside frank Navalo checking out this 10th hole frank is this a typo 592 yards but it's a par four not a par five what gives the reason why that tee shot, uh, severe elevation, so we can at least sort of chew 30 or 40 yards off that number. But I'm not saying this hole short, that's for sure. So that bunker just at the start of the field on the left certainly comes into play. The other feature, or well, interesting feature here at 10, is the shared green. This green shares that little piece of property with 13, just divided by that little pot bunker in the middle. Seeking missile right there. Wow. That's in the fairway. Chance to set himself up for a good scoring opportunity with his second shot here.
another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. That is classy. Well, the chunks are going in. Locked in on the read and the speed. Now minus 10 for the round. Now we go to the 11th hole, and this is a par five, but it's actually shorter than the par four tenth. This one comes in at 530 yards, and, and more evidence of the kind of creativity by the award-winning design team of Patel and Duncan. Well, that's right. Patel really is, is known to be the shaper. He's the one that makes all those interesting shapes and bunkers, for example, here. Nipping it in the fairway, making driver almost too much club or very, very risky, plus the front bunker there. Now, this is a great par five. The reason why, it's reachable, it's tempting, but you don't know what you're going to finish up shooting on it. Ends up in the first cut, and he'll have a pretty good look at the whole location from here. Right here. Racking them and stacking them. That's 12 under par now for the tournament. Twelfth hole now, and Frank, the long hitters could have an advantage here. If they want to take a very dangerous line over that left side, uh, this is really where the shot maker has the advantage, that hole bending completely to the left. You'd like to hit a draw there, so use those bunkers down the, uh, the through side of the fairway and then just sort of shape that ball towards the green. Interesting shape green, really three different sections to this, and of course three bunkers, each protecting a different portion. Now playing the second here at the par four. bunker over there. I think he's headed for it. Not missing by much today, but enough to again be in the bunker. So getting set for a greenside bunker shot. Frank, when I think of the great bunker players in the history of the sport, I think about Gary Player, Seve Ballesteros, who you knew so well. What did they do that made them so effective on these greenside bunker shots? They had an attitude for a start that was different. For them, it was, they saw possibilities. And uh, they, they would imagine the amount of sand. Remember, because this is the only shot in golf where you don't have to hit the ball first. So they would really choose the amount of sand behind the ball, whether that was an inch or two. Aim the club at that and made sure they followed through. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. On to the 13th, and Frank, I love golf courses where you run into something you've never seen before. I have never played a par five of 700 or more yards. Here it is. Like the looks of this one. Oh, yeah. Great strike. And a great result. Sitting up, good chance to attack the flag. Second shot. Third shot, looking for a good one. Oh. 
Appears to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. That was a solid strike and a good result. Getting set now over the putt. Knocking down all the shots today. Now at 13 under. Now at the par 3 14th over another body of water. Frank, you could make some big numbers on this golf course. I would think if you walk out of here today having shot under par, you have to be really happy. Certainly is big boy golf playing around uh, the cliffs at Lighthouse Point, Rich. And this is another example here at this beefy par 3, 240 yards. Uh, you can see Lake Zimmer protects the front of this green and to the right. That's obviously where they get all the irrigation water from. But uh, it's enough green left of the flag here. That's really what you're going to be looking at, that front left section. Birdie chance here. Very long putt, though. Got to be a little careful if it gets away on him. Missed on that one, Frank. Yeah, not a problem. Just a little tap in here. He'll take par and move on. The round continues at Lighthouse Point, and Frank, the 15th hole is a par four, only 387 yards. He's going to have to hit the same club a lot harder or just hit another one. Stick from that man. This has a good ring to it. Minus 14. A cursory look at the scorecard, Rich, and uh, well, it looks hard at 240 yards, but uh, that elevation is going to chew off quite a bit of yardage off the scorecard. Really, it's a good chance for a birdie on this closing stretch. V-shaped green, as long as you're on the right section of the green, could have a chance for birdie. Well, this could be good. Great effort right there, and a great chance to knock in that short putt. Settles in over the putt. Yeah. Putting on a show, this tournament moves to 15 under par. Well, Frank, I love this par 5 17th. Not only is it fun to play, but if you head over the Juniata Crossway Bridge ahead, you can find Brent's Lobster Shack, which is one of the best lobster rolls I have ever had. And you know they specialize in that up here in Maine. But what a hole. Oh, this looks good. Certainly is. Outstanding tee shot. Yeah, ball sitting up. You don't have to worry about the wind or anything there. You just take a full-blooded cut at the second shot from here. Second shot coming up here at the par five. Oh, 
this looks like it's going to find the target. And a chance for Eagle after that perfectly played shot. It's that sneaky distance. that mess are you kidding me I mean that one was dead center has this putt for birdie continues to amaze yet another birdie and what a day it's been Well, at last, we're at number 18, and Frank, I have really enjoyed this golf course. And, and now when you see the lighthouse in the distance, uh, it, it really makes it that much more special. 17, 18. The, it'll always take you home. And speaking of home, this finishing hole, it bends to the left. Uh, a good tee shot will somehow find the fairway and just leave you a short iron in. And, of course, uh, you make three here, and then that smile's going to light up like a beacon. There's something about a well-hit shot. They'll be pretty happy with that 290-yard poke off the tee. This looks to be at least an extra club, maybe two clubs going way up that hill to the green. Too unhappy with that, Frank, at 17 feet. Oh, from that distance, it's uh, more than good. He'll have 17 feet on this putt. Seventeen, eighteen. Well, Frank, it's our job to get excited. You can't. You can't when you leave it short, though. I'm sad. He's making my job hard. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Did the job right there. Rich, in that great opportunity, name on top of the leaderboard. It is only round one. Good place to be. Naruto. CBC Naruto. <laughs> CBC Naruto. Over and out. 